Rub up your engines! Let's say you got a beautiful old car like my wife's 20 year old Lexus, but some of the features are dinosaur. Well, don't get another car. Just upgrade it like I have. The cool angel I like. I just bought new assemblies. They bolted right on. So now it looks good, but the sound, maybe not so good inside. Because even though it has a premium sound system, check it out. It's a six disc CD changer and a tape deck. Yes, a tape deck. I remember the year decades ago when tapes took over from records. First there were records and then the tapes became more popular. Of course, then it was CDs and now of course it's all wireless stuff. This system does have various marvelous speakers all over the place. So why throw the baby away with the bathwater as the saying goes? We will install a nice Android system in here. Because this Dysata system comes with a beautiful Android and a faceplate that fits perfectly. No drilling, no cutting, you'll see we're gonna hook it up. Now of course first we gotta take this apart. Take the knobs off. Working on the radio, we gotta take this bottom off first. So we put it all the way down the shifter and you can see the whole thing pops right out. We'll move it out of the way. Put it over there. And strangely enough, the temperature system isn't even screwed in. It's popped in. Watch. That just comes right out. Now that's out of the way. So we'll remove those. One on each side. You look way up in here. There's another one up here. You can't even see it with the camera, but believe me, there's one over here. And there's another one on the other side over here. It's hard to see them, but believe me, they're there. I'm twisting this one out. Be careful they don't fall down. They often will. I have a magnet on a stick. Then you can stick that in the hole and pull it out. You might have to twist a little to finish it. Get more working room. Unplug the temperature unit. We can get it out of the way. Then we have more working room. Then we can easily get to the other side to get that bolt off. And out it comes on the magnet and the stick. Radio assembly, it easily pops right out. There it is. Then we have to unplug all the connectors. And then swing it down and you can get to the radio connector. And once you unplug this, you get the whole assembly out of the way. Now the first we're going to see, does this plate fit? And we can see, yes, it fits right in. That's no problem. Let's check the wiring harness. Ah, uh, but here lies a problem that makes it a failure. This is the only plug that plugs into the factory radio, right? Even though this radio comes with these adapters, these adapters, and another set of adapters, none of them plug into the wiring harness. Got a wiring harness that plugs into the new radio. If you're gonna use a DVD for the DVD to play out of the speakers and everything, but it will not connect to the wiring harness of the car. It's a beautiful Android setup, has all kinds of features. I'll never know if they work or not, because in order to hook them up to this car, I would have to rewire all of these wires to each individual speaker and tweeter in the front, and the ones in the trunk, and the ones in the doors. So in this case, it's a massive failure. Now, I do have to criticize the company. It's called Dysada. I gave them all the information they needed, and they said, yeah, this will fit a 2002 Lexus CS300. No problems, no problems. It will not plug in. You would have to rewire the entire car, which is a gigantic pain in the butt. And since this one, everything on it still works, the CDs, the tape deck, the radio, the only hassle is I cannot connect my smartphone to it because it's too old of a design. So good intentions are ruined by an incorrect product. Well, it is made in China, need I say more? All I have to say is thank goodness it was sent by the company. They said, oh, you want to try out our radio? I said, sure, here's the car, here's what I need. They said, no problem, it'll fit. Well, it fits in the car, but the wiring harness does not connect. And every adapter they sent me does not connect. And I tried to buy connectors somewhere else, but there's so many different kinds of Androids and wiring diagrams. Nobody, but nobody, even an electronic specialist in Nashville could figure out any kind of an adapter cable. They just said, you're gonna have to rewire the whole thing, which is what we're trying to avoid in the first place. I could have bought any generic radio and rewired the whole thing. I didn't want to do that. I wanted plug and play. And in this case, the company said it was, but it wasn't. And so <laughs> you can learn from my mistake here of trusting these people don't buy one for your car and they say it's going to plug in because it does not plug in now i gotta admit i kind of peed 
Then I took all this apart and I got to put it all back together again for nothing. But look at it this way. You won't have to do this. Don't buy one of these from this company. It doesn't fit. They obviously have no idea what fits what. And they send you with all these stupid cables saying, oh, the adapters work. No, they won't. None of them plug into this system. You would have to rewire the entire thing. And well, this is my wife's car. She doesn't like loud music anyway. So we'll continue doing what we've been doing. <laughs> we'll just use this nice little speaker. This works fine. It's called earphone. Can we just stick it here? And we listen to music using that and our smartphones. Push comes to shove. We'll get some of our old CDs and listen to them. <laughs> So the lesson to be learned here is don't trust a lot of these companies when they say, oh yeah, that fits your car, blah, blah, blah. Or if you're not mechanically inclined, go to a stereo shop. They got to make them work or you don't pay them and you just go away and you don't waste any of your time. The guys at the stores generally know what will fit what. They will have every adapter for your car or if you want, you can pay them to rewire the entire car. So instead of being stuck with this mess like I am and I got to put it back together again to be right where we started from with the original radio in it. Do a little research of companies. Does their stuff fit? Do they know what they're talking about? I mean, in this case, it didn't cost me anything they contacted me and said oh we'd like to use our radio in a radio installation video to show people how to put radios in the cars and i said sure send me and i'll try it out well guess what i tried it out and it doesn't fit so <laughs> a massive failure there oh well you live and learn you ready to put this back together again you can't win them all <laughs> at least this thing snaps together pretty easy <laughs> you don't have to do all that much work see if everything still works Rats, now I gotta reset the radio. <laughs> it lost its memory. Oh well, in the case of this smart Android, it wasn't such a smart idea because it has the incorrect wiring harness on it. Now these beautiful replacement headlights were made in China and they work perfectly fine and look beautiful. So what the heck? One out of two, that's pretty good in baseball, but maybe not so good in car repair. Don't buy things from companies unless they really know what they're talking about. I trusted them that this would fit. If you can't plug it in, you can't use it. So do a little research before you buy any kind of audio equipment to see if it's gonna fit, or as I suggested in the video, what the heck. Just go to one of those stereo places. Those guys make a living installing stereos in cars, and they aren't all that much more expensive than the stuff you're gonna get online. Because let's face it, buying online is a gamble. In this case, the bet was lost. The only thing I'm out is the time it took me to take it apart and then put it all back together again to end up where I started in the first place. And here's some bonus questions and answers. Tony Crystal, so Scotty, I got a 2019 Chevy Silverado. I can't find where a drone vibration is coming from. It pulses at 64 miles an hour, four to five seconds, builds up, and then goes back down to no vibration. You get a drone and a vibration. It's 64 miles an hour. I doubt anybody's going to be hanging under the truck while you're driving 64 listening. Watch my video. Finding a source of car noise of Scotty. Just type it in YouTube. There are various devices. That's one. There are even cheaper ones that you can get for 70 bucks on Amazon, then they have a bunch of sending units and you clamp them to various parts of the vehicle. Then with somebody else driving, you wear a set of headphones that plugs into the receiving unit. And if it's got six units, it'll say one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you click one, two, three, four, five, six and listen. And when you hear the noise the loudest, you know, that's close to the noise. Then you can do it again with a few more and find exactly where that noise is coming from. And that's, it could be a bearing, could be a drive shaft, could be lots of things. Often it's the drive shafts I know. With a device like that, you put a little sending units, clamp them different parts of the vehicle, you'll be able to find where the noise comes from. It's invaluable stuff these days. A little bit of technology, you can always find noise. YouTube says, Scotty, is the AC compressor seal being lubricated with oil when the AC is switched off? My AC can't be switched on below 32. Dealer says it's designed that way. Well, no, it's not. The oil flows in the system. And if the system's not running, the oil will not flow and lubricate the seal. So if you live in some place where let's say it is freezing cold all winter and never gets above 32 for a long Long time what you really want to do is drive it in a heated garage and then run the AC or put it on full defrost which will run the AC because it mixes heat and AC to defrost the windows so they don't fog up run it for 10 or 15 minutes at once a month and that will help lubricate it. if you live in a real cold area most places here like Tennessee it's cold today it's 19 but in a couple of days it's going to be 50 degrees outside then you'd run your defrost or air conditioning then and it could come back on and it would lubricate it so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.